Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dream. If you are new here, I am a mama of two. I live in California with my husband, but this video is gonna be a productive morning cleaning routine. Um, I am going to upload an updated nighttime routine that also sets us up for success. But in the morning, typically, I just have to tidy up a bit and water plants, throw in a little laundry. You will see all that. But I don't have to do any deep cleaning because we clean at night. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and it gives you some motivation and some tips and tricks and ideas of how I conduct my morning to set us up for success. So let's get started. The first thing I do um, in the morning, I do have a laundry routine. I will link that down below. But if it is a laundry day, I go into my room and I sort the laundry. My laundry, my husband's laundry, and Brooklyn's laundry is often put in our hamper. But you will see as I'm doing this, I will go into my teenage son room, his, my son's room, and gra grab his laundry as well that needs to be sorted. This day, I'm actually gonna do two loads. Tomorrow, I will probably do no laundry, but I just wanna get two loads just to get things clean. The hampers were pretty full, and I wanna get those cleared out. So I am sorting. I just sort in two categories. Like I said, I have a video where I go into greater detail. So I just do light or light-ish and dark, and everybody's clothes get washed together. to make my way down from my master closet and I am going to put the first load of laundry in. I like to do this first thing in the morning so that laundry can be going while I am doing some other things to tidy up. Nobody is quite up yet so um, you will see later on in the video my family wakes up, Brooklyn wakes up so um, they're gonna make little cameos but right now I'm just getting that um, darker load of laundry in and just getting it going. We use um, sensitive detergent. Uh, my husband does have eczema, so we use that. And Brooklyn has it, but not as bad as he does. So I've always used that. And I don't use anything to make it smell good or anything like that because it irritates his skin. So our laundry is pretty, pretty plain. I just use the sensitive. I use all or um, any other brand that just has the sensitive detergent. going to tidy up a bit like I said we do any deep cleaning the night or heavier cleaning the night before in the morning I just need to fix the pillows I always open up the blinds it's morning time I want to let that sun in and um, let the, let it shine in for a beautiful day you're gonna see later I'm not gonna need to tidy up the toys we typically do that at night sometimes we don't always get to it but this day we had got to it the night before but um, I'm just going to, you'll see I'll step on a toy, mom life, and then I'll just have to put that away. dishes um, in the sink or in the um, on the drying rack um, there is actually going to be just one cup that was left in the sink typically the night before we try to do all the dishes but sometimes we don't get to everything so I'm going to put that I clean that and get that put away as well
me know down in the comments below. Do you guys do dishes in the morning or do you guys do dishes at night? I, some, I know some people don't want to bother with it, so they leave it. Let me know what you guys do. Um, now, in the mornings, I like to... Um, our plants that are potted into the ground, we have a sprinkler system, so those get water by themselves. But I do have a few plants that are sitting out here. I did do an updated outdoor, I refreshed our patio. I can link that video down below as well. I will be doing a whole summer house tour. It won't re really be a summer house tour. It'll just be a refresh. Um, I just have really neutral decor that you can use all year round, but I'm watering the plants that are out and then getting everything put back on. My brookie is up like she literally finally woke up but she wanted to help me finish watering so we went out to the front of our house and she is watering the plants that we have out here. Tired. Most of the water did not get in the plants, but she did a good job regardless. And we're going to make our way back into the house. Now I'm just going to sweep the kitchen and get a few things put away. Um, they made a quick breakfast, so I'm gonna get those things put away and give our kitchen a good sweep. While I was watching this video, OMG, I need to clean underneath the microwave, that little filter part. It is so dusty. So, um, watching this back and editing it, I was like, I really need to do that. So that's gonna be put on my to-do list to get that done as well. Um, I sometimes vacuum, vacuum the kitchen, but I often still sweep so old school and that was what was left over from the night before so um yes kitchen I sweep actually probably a few times a day because we actually live in our house so it just gets back to beginning of the bed and then notice oh the camera wasn't filming but I wanted to show you guys this my husband had a little cut and he must have scratched it during the night when he was sleeping so he got a little blood onto our pillow so I just used this I got this from CBS it's like a wound healer a wound cleaner so but you can also use peroxide and I'm just using that with a, um, a cloth and I'm just gonna rub that out and it gets it out completely but it has to be fresh. It can't be blood that you've been sitting there a long time or that you've washed several times. So that completely got that blood stain out of our white um, bedspread. And the white bedspread, I keep it white by, I wash it. I don't wash our sheets very every week, but I will wash them every other week and I just throw a little bleach in there with them. But if you have a little blood stain, I wanted to show you guys that little tip. This wound healer, I got it from CVS. We just have it in our house, but you can also use Procris peroxide and it gets it out and it's great. And then that is it. I'm just gonna tidy up our bed. I don't need to make the kids' beds in the morning because we have taught them how to make their beds. They don't do it like I do it, but they do it good enough. Um, but if there's guests or something coming over, I will go in there and extra tidy up their beds, but they make them every morning. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much, bye.